Hey guys, Gas Guzzler here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, the quad behind me is a 2007 Can-Am DS250 that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace, and uh, it doesn't run, but hopefully today we're going to change that and potentially take it out for a ride because it finally stopped raining around here. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. So like I said, it's an 07 Can-Am DS250. Uh, it's got low hours, apparently, really low hours. The guy bought it for his son, and he only rode it a couple of times, so it's been parked ever since. Like, look at the original tires. Look at how sharp and square the treads still are. That's crazy. Uh, it's really, really clean. It's got dirt, but, I mean, we can wash it. It's no big deal. Uh, suspension's soft. So is the seat. It's even got a phone charger. This thing's, like, actually loaded. k and a good company. They really are water cold and it has an electric fan too cool it does crank that's all it does though so it's like it's not getting fuel so uh i'm gonna start by getting the carburetor off and see if it needs to be cleaned out because i bet it's full of junk shut the fuel off that's not even tight all right uh it's just two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the carburetor onto the spacer. So I'll go ahead and get those off. Now it's just a matter of all this coming off. There we go. All right, and then we're just gonna take the uh, throttle off. There we go, carburetor's out. Oh yeah, right, that's still full of fuel. All right, so I'm going to start by getting off the float bowl uh, to see how much junk is really in this carburetor. The fact that it didn't run at all, I'm going to say it's pretty bad inside. But uh, we'll see. Um, what? I mean, there's a little bit of stuff in there, but like that's not bad at all. And the jets seem fine too. Everything seems fine. I don't know why this didn't run. Um, I'll take everything out and clean it and make sure nothing's clogged, but... Alright, everything's back together. Turn the fuel on. Uh, let's see what happens. Hey, wait. Hey, it runs! Let me, uh, let me turn up the idle real quick. It ain't very happy, but it does run. Something ain't right. Yeah, something's not right. I don't... I do not like that. Oh my god, it is running so rich right now. I could smell it from over here. Uh, let me take that car back off, see what the heck's going on. Well, I found the problem. That's not supposed to be like that. Basically what this does is it gets thicker the higher up you go. And at the bottom it's the thinnest. And it slides into the main jet. So the farther up you go, the more fuel it lets into the engine. Uh, this is just getting pushed up, so it's letting like all the fuel in all the time uh because that clip isn't even attached so i'll go ahead and fix this all righty let's try this again it runs and it runs good dang I'm gonna go take this thing for a rip real quick.
guys, it's like a week later. Uh, I've been riding this thing around a lot, and I have to say I am super, super happy with it. It rides so smoothly. It runs so good. Uh, and it's just, a, it's just a really nice quad. Uh, yeah, so expect to see it again in the future, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.